Hi guys, so I have very exciting news. Um, you obviously already know because you're, I'm so puffed out well, because you're watching my four slash five week pregnancy video. Um, this will be released. My arm is so sore, so I'm gonna put this here. Um, this will be released when I'm about 13 weeks. I'm gonna release a whole bunch of videos. This video and then all the weeks leading up to when I get to announce my pregnancy. So you're gonna have this backlog of videos. Um, yeah, so this week I'm five, well today I'm five weeks, three days pregnant. Um, I actually forgot to do a video last week because I was relocating to Indonesia for a couple of months. So unfortunately I don't have one, so that's why I'm doing a four slash five week pregnancy vlog. I'll show you my test nice and dark. And I'll also post a link to my very first pregnancy test so you can see how light they were. But I essentially got my first BFP. For people who don't know the acronym, it's a big fat positive. I kind of had a weird cycle because I ovulated at a really different time to what I usually do and I almost think I might have double ovulated this cycle um, ovulated earlier and then ovulated again because really there's no rhyme or reason as to how I'm pregnant at this time um, I thought that I had maybe missed my ovulation but I am assuming I had I ovulated twice who knows? I don't know, but I'm pregnant. Um, so we caught that egg and I'm just so excited. I'm so excited. This is probably collectively our third month of trying, which is um, not typical for me. Usually it takes a lot longer for me to get pregnant. Um, I had a chemical pregnancy in January, so that was our first month of trying or December I would say was our first month of trying we weren't pregnant then January I got a chemical I had a chemical pregnancy so I had a very teeny tiny faint line like 9 DPO said to Mark we're pregnant and then the line disappeared and I got my period and it was heavier than usual so that confirmed to me that and it will last for longer it confirmed to me that it was a chemical pregnancy it was my first ever chemical pregnancy and I can understand how challenging they can be for people because you really get your hopes up and then the line doesn't get darker and then you get your period so that was really disappointing for me um, I th think we then tried again in February like February March and then I went to shoot a movie uh, in Melbourne and it was it was about horse racing so I was going to be on horses a lot so we decided to take a break and we and we'd try again I my original plan was that we weren't going to start trying until October this year because I really felt like I hit the jackpot in terms of the age gap between Bodie and Forrest and so I was slightly hesitant to try earlier because I just had this strange fear of how will I be able to handle two kids closer in age? And now um, that I'm pregnant, I'm really excited about the prospect of having babies that are two years, almost four months apart, um, according to the due date, somewhere around April. I couldn't believe it when I first saw the faint line. Um, and so now I'm just feeling in this really surreal headspace. I can't believe it. We're here in Bali. It was just amazing news to find out. I'm so grateful. I'm actually still breastfeeding Forrest. So I'm quite shocked that my body allowed me to become pregnant because typically I'm not very fertile when I'm breastfeeding. So. It all feels right. Obviously I'm at that scary stage and I wanted to talk a little bit about that because I'm where, if you're watching this, a lot of you probably on a, on a similar journey to me and I 
gosh, the first trimester is always so nerve wracking because you fixate on any little twinge, any cramp, any little spotting. Every time you go to the toilet, you're anxious that you might see some blood. And I think that's just how every woman has to navigate the first trimester is we can be cautiously optimistic, but we have these secrets as why you're not seeing this until I'm further along and it's really confirmed that this baby is happening. It is a nerve wracking headspace to be in and you're keeping the secret. And you know what's crazy for me? Because this is my third baby, I'll show you my belly. As you'll see, what is that? I am already, I've got a little bit of a lump there. Um, you know, I don't usually look like that. And so I'm only five and a half weeks long and it's actually kind of hard to hide it. It's just sort of poking out at the bottom. Uh, and I know I was showing relatively early with Forrest, but not this early. Um, and I've, I told one girlfriend of mine who has three kids, um, just because she incidentally had a, a dream that I was pregnant. And she was like, I don't dream you're pregnant. Um, and she said that with her daughter, who was her, that was her third baby, she was in maternity clothes at five weeks. So that was good to know. I was like, have I been eating too much in Bali? And in fact, I have had the best diet I've ever had eating in Indonesia. Everything's fresh fruits and veggies and super clean eating. Um, my girlfriend who I was just talking about just called me. So I'm back. Um, yeah, very much plant-based foods I've been eating, uh, just a lot of protein, um, vegan proteins, and just overall looking after myself. I do have a cold, which is typical for me, at uh, four to five weeks gestation. I, it's usually an early sign of pregnancy for me. I'm puffed out once again, as you can see. Uh, I'm staying in a four-story tree house and it um, has a lot of stairs and it's just the way these homes are made on stilts and they're lots of levels. So I was whew, walking all the way up holding forest and so now I'm really puffed out. Um, speaking of forest, I am really nervous about his transition and what this is going to mean for him because he is so connected to his mama, such a mama's boy. Um, still all about breastfeeding and I notice he has, he gets really possessive of me when I'm holding other children um, and I'm nervous what, what's going to happen when this little guy or girl comes. Um, speaking of that, it's it's funny. I, oh, it's on? The fan's on? Um, hi. Oh, the breeze, yeah. Um, yeah, I haven't really thought much about gender until my husband was like, I think it's a girl. And he's, he really thinks it's a girl. But it's funny because last pregnancy he thought it was a girl. I think my husband's a boy maker. Um, but I would love a daughter. Uh, I know my, I know Bodie really, really wants a, a little sister. Um, my boy. Oh yeah, it's on. Did you see two lines? So Forrest calls my pregnancy test two lines um, because when I tested, I was with Bodie, and I was so shocked. I was like, oh my gosh, there are two lines, and he's like, what do two lines mean? Um, I said, oh, it just means, tried to make something up. And then as the, that was only a week and a half ago, as my stomach's been growing bigger, and Mark and I have been talking about it, he now knows that there's a baby growing in my belly, even though we wanted to keep that a secret from him for a bit longer. Um, and so Forrest and him call the pregnancy test two lines. And by the way, I'm a pee on a stick addict. I have... So many pregnancy tests, I can't even tell you. I've probably taken 20. Um, I like to see the line progress. And I got my blood test done. Oh, yeah, it's on. Oh. Um, and 
you know, my HCG level, my first HCG level at 15 DPO was 200, which was a lot lower than it was with, with Bo, uh, Forest. And then my second one was 1,085 and I had a doubling time of around about 50, <clears throat> 56 hours. Um, and they like it to be anywhere between 48 and 70 hours doubling time. So that's obviously well within that frame. But I'm, of course, comparing my pregnancies to each other, all three pregnancies. And with Forrest, I had a doubling time of 44 hours. So all those sorts of things you can't help but worry about. But um, my big suggestion to you is in these early weeks, just try and relax try and listen to your body take a rest have naps lean on your partner for support it's absolutely imperative um be open about how you're feeling emotionally physically mentally and and just really try and be in tune with your body i've been writing pregnancy journals every day i'll write to the baby and as i was saying before about gender I really like to find out, so I'm going to find out pretty early, I think. Um, and Mark actually suggested this time around that we do a little gender reveal because we've never done anything like that before. And you never know if this is going to be your last baby. I hope not. I'd like to have two to three more. Yes, my boy. Hi. Is it on? I can feel the wind. Can you? Um, but of course, all I want is a healthy baby. Um, no matter what the gender, and I'm so in love with my little guys. Just the idea of having a tribe of little boys running around is really exciting, thinking about if he's gonna look more like Forrest or more like Bodhi or a mixture of the two, somewhere in between. Um, I love that idea, and then I love the idea of having a little girl and how different that is, or is it that different? Um, or is it just more personality? It's, um, it's the personality that determines how different they are. I know having two boys, they're completely different. Um, even though I think I had this expectation that they were gonna be these carbon copies of each other. You wanna take that? You can take that. Okay, you take that. That's your light. Um, he is ready to go to bed, even though it's only 6.30. What do you need? What do you need, my boy? Oh, this is my favorite thing. He says, cuggles with mommy. Cuggles with mommy. Um, anyway, so I should go. Oh yeah? Um, but I just wanted to say, I feel you. I know how it is to be in these early weeks. Try to relax. Try not to stress. All will be well. Um, don't obsess over numbers like me. <laughs> Um, because it will just unfold the way it's supposed to unfold and the number one thing that you need is to just de-stress so do things for you take a yoga class go do Pilates eat healthy read a book in bed ask Cubby to take the kids out for the day and just enjoy because this is so exciting and your baby is growing so rapidly and there's all sorts of things going on in your body all sorts of hormones running around so just be easy on yourself um and goodness i'm in that crazy period where i hope i get to make another video next week and um if you're watching this fantastic that means everything's going well and i will be seeing the heartbeat next week so i'll tell you all about that appointment all right bye everyone lots of love